works, because if not, I waste a lot of time. Yes! Hey, welcome back. All right, today I'm gonna get into installing the time meter on my Toro Time Master 30. It seems like a pretty easy thing to do. It's important if you're gonna keep up on the maintenance of that Time Master 30. All right, so here's my first challenge. I have to get the Toro Time Master up onto these saw horses because as I've gotten older, my back can't handle that much hunching for too long. Old man problem. All right, it's only 161 pounds. Let's see if I can get this up there. I would say the hardest part about that, it's all hard. The shape of it's awkward, the weight of it's awkward. I got it up there, which is gonna save my lower back a lot. Let's go ahead and get this thing installed. All right, to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and pop off the cover so that I can get access easily to the uh, spark plug. Plus it'll allow me to hide the wire because I obviously I don't want it on the outside. I'm thinking about mounting it right on the front here. Seeing people mounted over on the side here. So that's another potential spot would be right here. Let's go ahead and get that off and figure out how I'm gonna do this. The next day. All right, I had to take care of something. It's now the next day. Didn't advance any further. So today let's get right into it. I'm gonna start by taking off the cover and figure out where I'm gonna run the wire. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna wrap the wire here, run it through this flex auto tubing. It's gonna come out down here or underneath the fuel filter. And what's kind of cool is there's already like a pre-built clip along the side of this that fits that 3 8 piping perfectly into it right off the carburetor. And then I'm going to mount it right here. That seems like it's gonna work. Let's go ahead and figure out where I'm mounting it onto this carburetor guard. It's like one and three quarter between the holes. So what I'll do is make an estimate of where I want it to be mounted. So right about there. So I'll make my first hole, my first mark. Make sure it lines up, it's clear where I want it. So that should work. So this one will be somewhere on that line. So I'll measure from my dot an inch and three quarter, which should be roughly right here. I set the sensor over top. Just make sure the dots line up. Yep, perfect. All right, now it's time to pre-drill the holes for the screws. We'll go ahead and make my first hole. Let's go ahead and secure the hour meter. All right, for the wire hole, again, you just wanna make sure that you're being careful putting your hole in, and I'm gonna put it probably right about there. So I gotta lift the wire out of the way. I'm just gonna feed the wire through the hole. All right, so I went ahead and put a zip tie here. I'm gonna zip tie it to the fuel line here. And then I'm gonna come around to the top. That the line runs up between the air intake line and the fuel area right here. And then it's just a matter of taking it and attaching it to the spark plug and then taping it. And then I think I should be, should be good to go. Okay, I have a lot of extra line here. So I'm thinking I don't need that much, but I do need to wrap it around the line at least five times. So let's see if I can strip this wire. I'll have to strip probably a little at a time. There's one, two, three. That should be long enough. 
So let's get rid of some of this extra protection wire. All right, now that I have the wire stripped, I'm gonna go ahead and give it the wraps around the spark plug cable. And you wanna have at least five. And then I'm gonna take some tape, electrical tape, to hold it in place to make sure it doesn't move. Nice and tight. Now I gotta feed the wire back into the hose. Feed it down. And then I gotta put the hose over top where the wire is. Come on. All right, so that's it. I got it all wired up. I'm pretty happy with the results of this one. All right, let's start it for the first time and see if it actually, the hour meter works, because if not, I waste a lot of time. Yes! So that's how I installed that time meter. I think it looks really, really clean on that Toro. You don't see a whole lot of wires and the way that I installed it doesn't affect me taking the cover off. All right, with that being said, hopefully you like what I'm up to. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit that like button. Otherwise, Suburbia Dad is out.